I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Wednesday morning, the 7th of August, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. We start off in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 28 and 29. And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. And the blind men's eyes were opened. The key there is, be it according to our faith. Now, Luke chapter 17 and verse 5, the disciples said to the Lord, Please increase our faith. That's a good prayer. And I'm going to pray that prayer for you at the end of this little message. I can hear somebody saying, but how do you get that faith to trust God for a miracle? Well, the answer is found in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17. Now, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When you spend time reading your Bible, spend time praying, God increases your faith. You know, Abraham is regarded as the father of faith. The Bible tells us in James chapter 2, verse 23, Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. He's the only man that we hear of in the Bible that is called the friend of God because he believed. Faith is not a feeling. Faith is a fact. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, we walk by faith and not by sight. And by the way, it is never a walk in the park. It is not easy. Let me tell you, many a time when we step out by faith, things seem to get harder, don't they? But the reward is (laughs) mind-blowing. Oh, friends, I haven't got time to tell you of the things which God has done when we trust Him. The secret is the prayer of faith. That's what moves the hand of God. Not prayer, the prayer of faith. You have to believe what you pray. And we need to pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Father, I want to pray for my friends listening to this message. Many are in deep trouble. They need help. Lord, even as the two blind men said, Lord, please heal us. And the Lord said, do you believe I can do this? And they said, yes. I pray for my friend, Lord, listening to this very message, that you will increase their faith to believe you for the impossible. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.